You know, as a common observation, most people say, look at these weeds, nothing but weeds. Out here on the, on the property, we got a lot of different plants. Some plants I have never seen before in my life, and some of them I'm quite familiar with. What I want to do, uh, just take a few moments, Identify a lot of these plants that grow in nature. Uh, they naturally grow. Some I have planted, very few. Like for instance, the hibiscus I planted, um, African iris planted, hibiscus over there planted, but the rest of this, it just naturally grows. We have a pecan tree, a pecan tree that's growing right here. And we got quite a few of those too. But I wanna talk about some of the herbs and natural plants. I watch a lot of nature kind of go to the grocery store slash pharmacy. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful seeing it. Um, we have a lot of sassafras right here. Sassafras is a little bit everywhere you go, you see sassafras. Deers, they love sassafras. And when I tell you we got a lot of, we have a lot of it. It grows pretty plentiful on the property. Just about any time you cut, you're going to see some sassafras, sassafras come up. Um, so just to kind of let you know, sassafras is good for things like your urinary tract infection, the root. Um, it's good for inflammation. It's good for uh, blood pressure. It's also good for all kinds of um, inflammation and swelling. Look at all this sassafras right here. Like I said, it grows pretty plentiful here. So don't sleep on the sassafras. We will be keeping and maintaining sassafras on our property. They're going to persimmon that we planted. But there's a lot of different herbs and medicinal plants that grows. As you can see right here, we have quite a bit of blackberry. A lot of people don't think about harvesting the blackberry plant, especially uh, the health in women, uh, boiling the leaves. There's benefits, especially um, it's known that um, mothers that are breastfeeding or pregnant, it's not recommended, but just take a look. I'm not going to be the promoter of anything. I just want to let you just take a look at the historical background. That's a sassafras right there coming up. I'm just going to focus just on sassafras today. It's a beautiful plant. And it grows in some of the most challenging environments. Anything that flourishes on this particular piece of land, it is built for life. So consider sassafras and consider keeping it. And if for some reason... situations don't work out quite the way it works take a look at looking at sassafras as a way to survive just in case if the conditions are not favorable or even if the conditions are favorable and you want to try a different alternative do your research do your studies and check out sassafras it's a cool plant Y'all be well, be blessed. And we're going to take a look at other plants as we navigate on the property. Y'all be blessed, be well. Take care.